Hello, party people. We have a big one today. Chamber. New Malayalam film, Action Galore. Hello and welcome to Cinemondo. We are doing a new trailer today. I couldn't wait. I, I couldn't organize. I just had to jump on it because this one looks really good. <laughs> okay. This is a new Tinu Papachan film. He has not done anything for a while. I think it's been a couple of years. He's directed some great action films. So I'm very interested in seeing where he goes with this movie. Just came out a little while ago. Very excited. Be sure and subscribe. If you want to get all the latest stuff. We'd love it. It supports the show. It lets, lets YouTube know that you like us. <laughs> so that's awesome. And I love getting comments. I love reading all the comments. I try and reply to almost all of them if I can. It's it's a joy to my life. So feel free to comment. I love hearing theories. I love hearing your observations of trailers. So let's get to it. All right. Let's start this thing. Here we go. Okay. Mr. Kar, I am not going to be able to do yeah. Mm. Mustafa Sonella, particularly Marika Martayara Clalana. You don't know any other. The party in India. Oh, Fantastic logo. Oh my God. That was amazing. So I appreciate a good animated sort of illustrative logo. And that looked amazing made out of bodies and looked very sculptural and very cool. So that was gorgeous. That is, that is somebody who knows how to light a film. They know how to shoot action. And I love when they can do both. It can look gorgeous and completely violent and crazy. It also had a lot of really great, like huge scopic shots of like of skylines and wide shots of you know trucks going down the road and it really gives you a sense of the vastness of the story and the visuals gorgeous uh so this also stars Kanchako baban anthony vargas arjun ashakan and sajan gopu are the leads i think i recognize a few faces in there from other movies and uh wow kick ass so tinu papachan he has he's done action movies he's it's really gritty it's got really nice lighting. I think we talked about that. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to this. It looks like there's a war. That's all I'm saying. We got something going down and it's not good. As long as no animals get hurt. I saw a few animals in there, some dogs. You know, you know how I am. <laughs> as long as no animals get hurt, I'm okay with this movie. All right. In the meantime, we do have some posters. That's my passion. I love, I do posters. I love posters. So I always like to include these. Let's take a look here. All right, so we have, you know, the sculptural aspect of this is in the logos and in the posters. So this is a really 
really beautiful poster. I love how they look like they're carved out of stone. That's actually a really hard thing to do to make it look realistic. And um, they actually got likenesses and it's really well done. Very illustrative. And I love that it's a great sky back there. They did a really good job on this guy. So we see that that illustrated logo there and we have the carved in stone. So they're carved in stone. What does that mean? What does it mean? Okay. Then we got craziness. Okay. These are incredible conceptual posters. You don't get to do those very often. It, it's like people are afraid to do crazy stuff like this. They feel like people will confuse. They, they want to just see faces. They don't understand it. But I love when a designer can get a good conceptual crazy poster out there. And I'll see, we have a guy with a knife. We have, it looks like there's some vines on the hands. We have the, the truck driving up with explosions. There's a guy running out in front of it, realistically uh, proportioned to each other. So that's, that's also hard to do because you want that person to read. So they made sure that they had good silhouette value there in the background. And uh, I know it ties in with the same, you know, similar sky. We have the like, the gray kind of color palette, which is that hint of red. That's really nice inside the cart. Mm, good. Then we have, oh my God, what is happening in this movie? All right. <laughs> These look nuts. This is a crazy cop. Who did this poster? This is nuts. I love it. Not sure what this is. Maybe somebody can fill me in on what this is. I mean, it looks like a forest that's in a ball shape, but maybe that stands for something else. I mean, I see the people standing in there. We got the guy inside of it looking out. Very cool conceptually. I'd love to know if you guys can give me some clues on how this ties into the, the trailer we just saw, because I'm not quite totally sure on what's happening story-wise, so it probably matters thinking that probably is important. So another gorgeous conceptual poster. I mean, holy shit. Good job, guys. Good job on the posters. <laughs> so I thought this trailer was so badass. I loved watching it. It was so much energy, so great, and just beautifully shot. Just gorgeous cinematography. Whoever that cinematographer is, I should give him a call out because, oh my God, so great. Let me know what your thoughts are on this movie. I know I kind of rave, but I mean, these kind of movies are in my zone. I like these kind of movies. I like horror movies. I like action movies. So when people do them well, I get a little excited. <laughs> so I enjoy that. So let me know what you guys think of this trailer. And um, if you have any theories, if you already know what this movie is about, I'd love to know. I mean, we didn't have hard to find subtitles for this one. A lot of times the Molly Allen films, when they first come out, we don't get them. And I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait. Everybody else gets to see it and I don't. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.